You know what? Let me ask you both. Welcome to ISM Network, right? In association with ISM Promotion. A few revelations have happened over the last 24 hours. Revelations? Right? Yes, in, in regards to... Oh my God, I better put my glasses on. <laughs> Is this, is this serious content now? Yeah, it's definitely okay, serious right, content. Okay. Definitely serious all content. Right, I'll put my intellectual specs on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awaken them. Awaken yourself. I bet you regret now, don't you? No, you don't. <laughs> um, Not really. <clears throat> comments that Umar made about his. Oh, I'll let you deal with <laughs> this. Yeah, thing. I can't even. I, I don't can't. even go there. If I say no. something, things about people, I say it to their face. Right, That's the right. end of it. All right. But he, he, I, I feel sorry for him because he's a nice lad. Okay. But, yeah. All right, fair enough. So moving on then. Um, how yeah. do you see? Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving swiftly, on. Swiftly, moving, on. moving on. Swiftly. Are you from IFL TV by any chance? No, I'm from ISN Network. Legend, are you, are you rivals of theirs? No, no, no. Thank I don't you. have any rivals. Much we're all one. We're all stirring up though. Stirring up that big pot. <laughs> oh, I just asked what your opinion was. I just think it's unfortunate. You know. mm. That's what. That's what. I was, see, if you'd allowed, if you'd given me a chance, what I was going to ask was, do you think it's fair that people are allowed to dig up old tweets? And it's just like, do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I mean, like, if you, yeah, I mean, everyone's got a history. Exactly. Oh, so, I mean, um, oh, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on it other than I feel a bit sorry for the lads. Um, but it's just stupid. It's like, someone wants, like, I've been doing this a long time, you know, 30 mm. odd years. Dave, come back. Um, Dave, but the thing Dave, is this. Dave's running, Dave's if, running. If, no, no, he's coming back. But the thing is this. If, when youngsters want to work with me, mm. I'll have a look at their Facebook and their Instagram and their Twitter because if they're behaving dickishly Talk to me. I won't have them work with me. What's the question? What's you know? No, I was saying that I don't, I, I, I don't really, I was saying my rule is, and it always has been, I'll only write what I say to someone's face. Right. I'll only say to someone's face what I put on Twitter. It's like, because you, 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 it's, a, it's, you know, deal with, deal in the real world and we all do things when we're young, but social media, you are publishing. That's what people need to realize. You're always publishing. And you know that I'm a journalist. I've been a journalist for a long time. <laughs> exactly. So I know I'm publishing all the time. I think it's unfortunate what's happened, but they get over it. They get over it. People get over it. Um, you know, um, I, don't, I, ha I don't know all the tweets, by the way. So if there's stuff in there that, you know, that is very strong and racist and sexist and anti-religious and stuff like that, I don't know. But, mm. you know, it, 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 the first thing he needs to do is apologise, yeah. and that's it, really. Fair enough, moving on then. Um, if Calbrook wins on the weekend, do you think he's in content contention for another world title fight? Probably not immediately. I wouldn't say immediately in contention for another world title fight, but it depends on, depends on, um, it depends on the people owning those world titles needing sparring partners mm -hmm. from that from that perspective and whether or not they consider him a threat he's a, he's a name so if they don't consider him too much of a big threat it's somebody that can they can actually end up sparring with you would you how do you think yeah well i i would add to that that if it's if it, it kel's talking your big performance he's just been with us on the william hill show um i did an interview with him for the telegraph it's in today's telegraph where he's talked about ridding himself of a very dark depression he went into after breaking both those orbital sockets against Gennady Golovkin and Errol Spence, losing his world title and losing at middleweight. Kind of getting beaten up at middleweight, really. And he's a, he's a welterweight like middleweight. Um, if he's talking a really big fight here. He's talking about a dramatic performance. If he does that, makes a lot of noise in front of his home crowd, gets a good stoppage, weathers the storm from DeLuca, looks fantastic. I mean, I was hugging the guy for 10 minutes while we were interviewing him just now. He feels fantastic. His energy feels great. He, know he, he knows he's... He can't waste any more time. I think if the level of the performance is very good, Eddie Hearn won't delay in getting him into a world title fight. Hearn's very influential. There's loads of big fights for them in America. Um, How about you know, the Khan fight, though? I don't think the Khan fight will happen. We had Junior Witter with us earlier. Right. He never fought Ricky Hatton. They were both world champions at 140 pounds. And there was an ego thing between them. Ricky Hatton didn't want to give Junior the big money fight. Junior wasn't going to give Ricky the upper hand and play the fall guy and say all the right things. They're both very strong-minded people. I think it's the same with, 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 with Amir and Kel. You know, there's a bragging rights thing. It's deeper than just a boxing match and mm. earning five million quid each. That fight's been talked about for nearly five years. Look at your next question, go on. <laughs> keep going, keep going. I'm done. Oh, fair enough. Um, 
What do, you, what do you think Fury has to do to be um, Wilder? You've got a lovely face to tease, do you know that? Really? Yeah. Okay. Don't you think? What do you mean? I don't know, that's you, what I'm no, asking you. No, no, you've got, no, you've got a very gentle, you've got a lovely face. Oh, thank you. Um, but no, but I, I was just teasing you. Yeah. Fair enough, dear. fair enough. But what, what do you think he has to do to beat Wilder? I can't read your next question off said, the phone. What do you think Fury's got to do to beat to be Wilder? <laughs> be, be very focused for every minute, Ken, every Ken, second of every Ken, minute of every round. Dad, do you think he genuinely believes here yeah, that he's going to knock him out? Well, of course he, he believes that. As in, as in, as in... Yeah, he's yeah, talking about yeah. I'm going to knock him out. Yeah, but, two rounds. Yeah, but, but don't ever believe what people say. There's all kinds of strategy. Look, Fury and his family and his camp, they are steeped in fighting and boxing. Yep. Mm -hmm. They know they're boxing. Absolutely. He knows that if he goes toe to toe with Wilder, it's like it's like professional boxing suicide. It's like pugilism suicide because you narrow the odds for you of winning because Wilder has fast hand speed and an equaliser in both hands. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I want. He wants you to punch with him. Fury needs to frustrate him, be busier at the beginning and the end of every round than he was in the first fight. Mm -hmm. Be more convincing, frustrate Wilder. Yes, take opportunities when they come more, but don't go toe to toe with him. He's not looking at a second round knockout. But apart from all of that, <laughs> Fury has an ability to surprise everyone and he shock does. everyone, so you just don't know. You know, look at that biblical la rise like Lazarus from the grave uh, in the 12th round in December 2018. It was incredible, so you can't write him off. Can you see Wilder and Joshua actually getting into the ring at some point? Yes, I can. Oh, God, yeah. I can see that happening. Did you sure. say that happened in 2020 or 21? Not 2020. Not this year. I mean, it's, it's got to happen. Josh was tied up with two, two mandatories. He's probably going to fight but twice. Going twice back to what you were saying with Hatton, and um, don't you think it's an Junior ego Winter. thing? Junior Winter. Don't you think it's a, um, it can be an ego, ego thing between the networks? Totally. Oh, the network. Well, Networks, promoter. Because now, now, now it's about, <laughs> is it a 50-50 it split? No, but sudden? I understand what you're saying from that perspective, but it does happen. Big money fights do happen between networks. Um, uh, who was it? Fox and Showtime that split... Um, Maybe with Pacquiao. Uh, no, it was um, at eight, I think it was HBO, HBO and, and, and Showtime. And Showtime. And Showtime. Yeah. Now Pacquiao. we've got ESPN and Fox, Fox. For, so, for Wild Dreams. So it's like, it's like. If the money's happens. big enough. If the money's big enough, it happens. Yeah. It happens. It happens. The they, they agree a price it. point. Next week, network share it, and you go to whoever you want to go to. So that's not. It should. That shouldn't be the ulti, uh, uh, a massive decisive factor. It's, it's something that promoters can use as a way in which to, to quiet and fans down in terms of all oh, right we can't get this fight happening because of this but the truth of the matter is it can be done the like, fight's big enough issue. there's enough yeah. money there they'll always do the business because yeah. you know um boxing is a sport but almost more than that it's a business mm. it's all about the cash it's all about the cash the money. all right then cool um two more questions i need to ask you guys um where well, I'm you glad you're not yeah. right reading them from your phone now. That's a real advancement. It's off the, straight <laughs> off the dome. Me off. Straight off the dome now. Straight off the dome. Um, what fights are you guys looking forward to for the rest of the year? You know, like, are you looking forward to Joshua Pulev? I'm looking forward to Wilder Fury. I'm look, I am actually looking forward to Joshua Pulev because I'm looking forward to Joshua coming back. Hopefully, being back in the UK and fighting and having a number of massive stages. He's a, bit of, a, he's a bit of an AJ fan. I'm I'm a fan. He's always, I saw him on the internet the other day throwing... Um, what's that? Oh, what's no, that was Jason well. Bell. That was. Yeah, no, it was me. No, well, it was, it was me there as well. But listen, oh, was that you throwing the, the, the... No, he was just commentating and getting Listen, <laughs> listen. listen I, I wish I'd had that thing, because I'm very good at throwing in American football. I mean, you're good at Joshua everything. was good at that. He was Joshua in America, was mate. Look at, look at this guy, look at him. He was in the States doing living, a Peloton. Living, living his and, best and, life. Living the best life. Listen, I am a Joshua fan, I am a Fury fan, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, fan, of, I'm a fan of everybody. But the truth of the matter is, I'm just glad, and I'll be happy to see He's AJ... He's just glad to be at work. I'm, I'm glad, to, <laughs> I'll be happy to see AJ <laughs> fight back in Wembley. Um, because I think, oh, yeah, I think, that be I good. think we, haven't, we haven't seen him here no, for a long time. Him and it would be good to just have him. So Does that really matter anymore? It matters. It, it matters. I mean, it matters. As, a, as a heavyweight champion. It matters. It matters. It matters because the reason why I would say it matters is because um, if you want to continue to foster your fan base, your diehard fan base in a certain region, then you, you can't just disappear forever. And he's been gone for, I don't know, probably like. 15 months now. Talking of um, gone, yeah. I've got to go to my next I'll gig. Go, I've got to go and I'll interview go the GB face. amateur boxing Tell team them. who've been selected today in Sheffield, just down the road Look at the Sheffield Institute of Sport. Yeah, I'm going to go and see them. If you want to come, you're welcome. Oh, okay. uh, you're all welcome to come. Um, where, where is it? Eight said. men and five women have been at English Institute of Sport. Uh, their team's being announced for the qualifying tournament for the Olympics. It's taking place at the Copper Box, March the 14th to 24th. So. I just want to go and see who the team is and meet some of them. All right, cool. All right. All right. Well, one more thing. 
Um, tell, me your, tell me I like it. Tell me your top. Um, tell me the heavyweights. Uh, Joshua Wilder and Fury. Fury Wilder Joshua. Oh my days. White. That's mine. Do you, you think Joshua, Fury Wilder do, do, Joshua? Do, do, do you think Joshua? And Jillian, I need an interview with you. Yeah. You don't yeah. answer my texts anymore. <laughs> Do you think what? Do I really think what? Do you think Joshua? Thank you very much. No wise, man. Cheers, brother. No wise. Do you think what? Joshua? Do you think um? 